Yo dog, I heard you like video games. So I made you a video game that teaches you how to make video games. So you can play a video game while you're learning how to make your own video games. It's called Code Hero. And we made Code Hero because we believe that you have the power to become a Code Hero, to learn programming. And that our job is to make the game so fun that you can't stop playing. The goal of Code Hero is sort of like Minecraft or Portal. There's some crazy AIs, they're dragging you down a rabbit hole, there's a big story. But at the end of the day, it's you, your code gun, and you shoot the code. So instead of making blocks or portals, you shoot JavaScript. When the JavaScript hits the target, it executes and evals that code. So you're learning everything that you would learn from, say, books, or someone trying to teach you over your shoulder and explain things to you, but without the pressure of that teacher there and trying to not look bad in front of them. Instead, you're experimenting. You do something wrong, it's usually hilarious. You learn print hello world, and then you learn blow stuff up, explosions, add force, transform forward, one million. Um, you add three more zeros to that, and then you really blow some stuff up. So, editing code is actually a lot of fun when you approach it from the perspective of the game when you play with it. And what we discovered is that everyone who hears about this game says, Code Hero? Is, is that like Guitar Hero, but with programming? And we say, well, yeah, it does teach you programming, but it's more like Portal in Minecraft. And then their eyes pop out of their heads. We went to the Minecon convention to launch it, and we didn't have to ask them if they played it. They just saw the poster, and before we explained it to them, they fought over the keyboard. Some of them would sneak back in later to get access to it a second time and pretend that they hadn't been playing it earlier. Um, so far, Code Hero has succeeded beyond our wildest dreams, but we're still just in beta. We spent the last year bootstrapping, eating ramen or worse, trying to make this game and make it so that it is absolutely focused on educating and entertaining people. And what we need now is for our fans to support us and help us to finish it. So that's why we're on Kickstarter. And we have a very unusual challenge. Since our game teaches you how to make your own video game, and in the course of playing it, and on the website, you'll be able to download Unity 3D and apply the JavaScript and other programming languages that you learn. We're challenging you over the next 60 days of our Kickstarter to create your own video game and take what we've learned, use it to make your own video game, and put yours on Kickstarter if you can finish it before we finish ours. So that's what we would like you to do, is don't take Code Hero as just a game that you're gonna play. This is not a weekend retreat, this is not a seminar. Uh, if you are not on your way to making your video game in 60 days, you'll miss out. And in fact, we are going to give a free Primer Labs lab coat to every person who finishes a game and manages to actually post a Kickstarter for it. Because by creating a video game, you are a primarist. You are one of us. You are part of the change that the world needs. Alex will sign them. We'll all sign them. Because <laughs> all of us have contributed to Code Hero in different ways. Uh, Gavin, in his first lesson on how to do Unity programming, he created the door that you enter that goes when you're about to fight the fizz boss and prove yourself as a programmer. Uh, Dan has built the servers and had to deal with slash dot attack after slash dot attack as they get hammered by tens of thousands of people at once. And Matt has been building, if you want to show the, the model, a physical 3D MakerBot printed version of the Difference Engine, which in the story of the game you're going to find out was the first computer ever made in 1862 by Charles Babbage and Ada Lovelace, who are also your teachers in the game. Hello, my name is Ada Lovelace. I am called the Enchantress of Numbers, because in 1862 I was the first programmer of the first computer, the Analytic Engine. This is the world of code. And your training to master code begins with the languages of the land, JavaScript and Unityscript. So, Antonio, David, Michael, and what we all have in common is we believe in a world where knowledge becomes playable. And we believe it's not up to us to make it, it's just up to us to teach you how to make the games that need making, to change the things that need changing, so that we can create the world we wish to see by coding the change that we wish to see in the world. That is what Code Hero is all about, and we challenge you over the next 60 days. If you spend one dollar on this Kickstarter, we will give you the game. For life, the whole thing. Because we're not about the margin or the cost or the monetization. We're about the programmerization, the impact, and the creativity that we can unleash inside of you. But we need your help. We do. Definitely, so, it, would, it would be a great benefit. And we just moved into this office so we could live and work side by side every day. So we can get this thing done as quickly as possible and as awesomely as possible. And what we need to do now is launch this Kickstarter and get your help to finish the game. And a lot of Kickstarters will wait until the very end to reach their goal. 
But I think that if you want the game and you realize how many of your friends want the game, you'll realize because there's at least that many people that are creative enough to want to learn programming and that like video games. We want to do that so we can teach millions of people how to be creative. So we want your help not just to buy the game by donating, but also to tell your friends about it. We think the best way to show your friends that you're serious about this and that this game really affected you, make something with it and show people. But even before you finish something, just show people how you're learning it. Take someone uh, under your wing and teach them what you've been learning. Um, host your own event. We have a thing on the website called Cambridge University, which is like a class that you can teach, like a Tupperware party, but with programming. So the essence of Code Hero is you are Code Hero. You are Primer Labs. Our rock band, where we compose the soundtrack, which we've been working on for quite some time and perform it as a, as a rock band, is a rock band that we want you to become a part of by making your own songs and your own music and your own ideas. So that's what we want you to do. We want you to take up this challenge and hack the planet by creating the change you wish to see, making the games that need to be made, and uh, help us change the world so that we can create a world where knowledge becomes playable. Hack the planet. Hack the planet. <laughs> a lot of gamers want to know what goes on inside of a game company. If you want to become a game developer, you have to be able to talk to and see inside how game development works. So we're going to give Code Hero fans who are pledging and supporting us an inside look through primerlabs.com slash live. You can watch us on Ustream, you can chat with us, you can talk to us, and we'll try to answer your questions and sort of tell you how game development works from the inside. So you can take what you're learning inside the game of Code Hero, and you can actually learn how to build a game inside of Unity. And on Mondays, we're going to show you how we teach kids because we learned to develop this game based on how we taught large classes to get kids to be able to make their own games. So come in and check out Monday night classes. You will see an amazing change in young people who are making video games, and you'll realize you can do it too. So thank you for your support, thank you for pledging, and we will see you there at primerlabs.com live.